I thought this was the Evil Academy. There's no one here by this name. But aren't you? But of course you are. How's it going, you festy hat cunt? What's happening, boys? And welcome to Alexander Like a Beast, the best striker on FIFA episode! Officially turning into a lobster. I know, I really am turning into a lobster. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at Alexandre Lacazette. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. 89 pace, 87 shooting. Well, just look at these fucking stats. Now this is gonna go one of two ways. One, he's gonna be a beast or more beast than his regular card. Two, it's gonna slow him down. In last year's FIFA, I haven't experienced it yet this FIFA, but an inform card sometimes make a player feel sluggish or slower. That might be more of a mental thing, that might be more of a mentality thing. We don't know exactly what EA do to these inform cards, but uh, for all intents and purposes, he should be the best striker in FIFA. He's also got the acrobat specialty, which may or may not indicate that he was an acrobat in a past life. Down the runway, strong, but then... Probably not the case, though. Pizza break. If you guys do enjoy the episode, make sure to hit that like button. Let's try and blast 60 likes. If you want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter, the links can be found in the description below. Almost 600k for this card, so he better be worth it. We've thrown him into this beast freaking league inside. We've got Di Maria Cavani. We've got Pastore and Tweety Bird and freaking Verratti in the midfield. And David Luiz and Nkulu as the anchor center backs. And then we've also got Ruffier in there. What's that big forehead in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen? Let's get into a match. Let's see how Laka Beast performs. All right, boys, so here we go. Coming up against Salah Jorvino Nangolan, who's now part of Club 80. Possibly we will be doing... Wow. Possibly we'll be doing a video on him. He's got Hernanez. Um, eh, my fucking badge hurts. The fucking badge. Still on it. Beast. Just a fucking beast card. Whoa, fuck. Oh god. Nah. Wait, what? Come on. Nah, he's powering through. Oh fuck, that was supposed to go in. Roll up, we all get out of the way, man. Ooh, dude. 26 minutes in, you expect a goal with a 600k player. That's for freaking sure. Competition's pretty good but we should be able to get one in. I don't know, it's more difficult to get shots on target now. <laughs> cunt! Fucking cunt, his second goal, his second shot on target, and he scores. All right, I can't complain. I just gotta, dude, I gotta ball out. I gotta win this match like 3-1, 4-1. 10 shots, four on target, 58% possession. Dominating possession, just not putting away goals. Alexander Lacazette. Alexander. Alexandre. I don't know how to say it, bro. Fuck it. Let's go, son. Fuck this crowd up. That's offsides, bro. That's offsides, cunt. Oh, God. Wait, what the fuck's happening? Mata, let's fucking go! Ref, that's a pen! Let's fucking go, Lacazette! Come on, bro! We're getting your second goal! That's the good luck! Top right, top right! Oh! Yes! 2-2! Two -two. That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about. Hug it out with this hug it out with Zlatan. Yes! They're fucking brothers. They're blood brothers. He's fucking so happy. I'm happy. Let's fucking go. We're winning this match. What a pass. Di Maria, Lacazette, he's got 90 positioning. Perfect positioning and amazing finishing. Nah, 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 nah. He's actually not real. I'm done. I'm done. He's fucking incredible. He went through a player. I, I've not seen a player do that animation yet. In game. And it, I think it's maybe due to like Ibra celebrating like he scored. Look what he did to these players. Look what he fucking did. Something about his stats just make players bounce off of it. And there you have it, boys. Three to two. 
It was not looking good. We were down 2 0. We brought on Zlatan, who I think maybe caused a distraction because Lacazette didn't have a lot of breathing space before. We had to create it with skill runs, creating space on our own. But then once Zlatan came on, everything changed. 9.3 rating for Lacazette, got the hat trick. 18 shots, 10 on target, 54% possession. I've played a few matches with him. Can I say he's the best striker in FIFA? I don't think you can ever say that because it comes down to formation, who you're playing against, and also the, you know, the individual card stats of the player that you're using. Let's get into match number two. Whoa, match number two, and we are coming up against someone that sort of enjoys the same thing I'm doing. That's playing wingers up front. He's got Neymar and Bale up front. James, he's got Kriciowak, he's got Rakitic, he's got Iniesta. Really solid looking La Liga BBVA side. Or just La Liga, I don't know why I'm saying BBVA. Let's fucking go, can That was a little dirty, I- that was dirty. Yes! Fucking Lacazette 1-0! Yo, honestly, there's no stopping him. 27 minutes in. Took a little longer than they expected to get our first goal. Um, but he's just a beast. He's just an absolute monster. And where the fuck is Ibra? Halftime, two shots, one on target. There's one shot on target between us in the entire half of FIFA. That's crazy. Possession looks good. Let's get in the second half. Let's win this thing big. That's in. Watch this. This is so in! Ibra. The touch. The touch and the rip! Oh, I had some room to run. Alright, like I said. Like I said to Ibra. And Ibra! How am I not finishing that with Ibra? This is my first time playing with Ibra in FIFA 16. So I think I'm a little bit nervous. Oh. We have to finish that one. Yo, Ebs, bro. Like, I know you're right-footed, man, but... What the fuck? Dude, I don't know. Not being able to finish is with Ibra is not something that you hear often in a game. And there you have it, boys. Match number two. That one was a little too close. But there you have it, boys. Lacazette gets us our only goal. He's got four goals across two matches. Absolutely dominated that first match. Um... Yeah, whether or not he's the best striker in FIFA, I definitely would say with confidence that his regular card is definitely a top 8 striker card in all of FIFA. His informed card, 600k, not exactly sure that it's worth it, although he does play like a beast. But anyway, boys, that is the episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, choose later, adieu. Previously on Fatal. It's currently 1 a.m. and I've had like three Red Bulls, which might explain some of the weird shit I'm saying. Then again, I say weird shit all the time. <laughs>